guys welcome back to my youtube channel i haven't uploaded anything for the last few months because i'm super super tired and i haven't had the time to take videos because of school um, other stuff that i'm doing as at the moment but here i am this is my very first talking video in this channel and it is a makeup video i am going to be doing a everyday makeup or like my everyday makeup and we'll show it to you guys sorry if my background is messy i'm in my bedroom but without further ado let's let's do this face let's put some makeup on it so first i do is prime my face i use fashion 21 primer spray it's actually paubos na i'm gonna buy soon I'm actually gonna try like other brands do, but I love this. This doesn't irritate my skin, and I don't get allergies from using this. It's a lightweight base that preps skin for seamless makeup, and it's it's easy on the sensitive parts, and it does not clog the pores, which is great because if you can see, I have huge pores, and I'm currently like on a breakout right now. It says, it says on the bottle to leave it on for a minute, like you know, massaging it. I also use it as a setting spray because it does keep my face or like my makeup stay on my face. So I'm gonna put my concealer. I usually use what is it? <clears throat> the Fashion Twenty One. SPF 50 plus perfect stick concealer. I bought this when I was doing makeup for my graduation picture but I'm gonna try out Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 or in shade light Let's try. I'm actually excited because I've heard good reviews on TikTok So let's try Okay Right off the bat, it is super creamy. Okay. I have some thoughts I want to share with you later. It is stinging this part of my face. When I put the concealer here, it was stinging. I don't know why, but I swear this is not expired because I just bought it. Okay. The nose, I'm gonna put the nose. Okay. The side of the nose and under the nose is it's important that you put some concealer on it I'm not gonna spot conceal because I'm tamat I'm lazy but I should actually I don't know okay so when I use my old concealer whenever I blend my concealer here it gives me a dry spot because I have um, a sensitive skin. It's sometimes dry, combination skin. It's sometimes dry, it's sometimes oily. But first impression for the concealer, um, the Fit Me concealer, it didn't give me a dry patch here. That's one point. My hair is distracting. Okay. It didn't give me a dry patch as well. I have been meaning to buy this for a very long time, but I am not really sure if I should because I thought it's not really good for like the skin or it's not 
a good formula but it actually is okay first impressions because second normally when i put concealer here on my like my under eyes it creases but it didn't when i used the fit me concealer i but i don't know if the shade light is too light for me because uh, like the yung fit me foundation i don't know 1 to 8 yung shade ko dun. So we're just like a light color. Next step on my daily routine is the foundation. I use Detail Cosmetics Fresh Filter. I love this so much. I just bought this last month because I have been meaning to buy this for a very long time. But I want to try it out. So I bought like the mini version. There's like the big version kasi na to. So I bought like the one at the tube. And I love it. It's not full coverage, so don't get your hopes up. It's like light or like light medium or natural finish, which is fine by me because I don't like my foundation really, really matte or really, really sticky on my skin. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm wait. I'm gonna use my brush. I always use like the beauty blender but i now found out that i love the brush more my only problem with this is that it is hard to pop out the product sometimes i need to like shake it or i need to push the product up so that i can like get some product out but most of the time not really most of the time but Sometimes I don't get the product or like the amount of product that I want. Let's put it on. I'm just gonna put like on Auntie Lang. There we go. Let's see. It is not my shade, but that's gonna blend out. Let's put it on my forehead. You wanna see here this out on my hand if you can see. I don't know if you can see. Again. It is cute. I don't I think I forgot the shade. Macadamia, I'm shade. Wait, and I'm shade macadamia. See? Ang niya, guys. Open it I bought this on sale at uh, 200 plus 249. I don't know. I forget. I, I forgot. But the only problem with my brush, it does blend it super easily, but it leaves like streaks, like no brush. So I still use the beauty blender to blend it out. As you guys can see, it left like streaks on my face. That's why I'm gonna use the beauty blender to even it all out. Next step, concealer again. Kasi, syempre, tatakpan na yung mga concealer dun sa inalim kasi naglagyan na akong foundation. I'm gonna put on some concealer. Panty lang. Just a little bit. To, to cover some blemishes. Yan lang. Cover lang natin siya ulit. <coughs> Lower my sakot pa ako. Next step is we're going to put on some... Blend ko ba? Mm -hmm. We're going to put some contour. I'm going to I'm going to use the Fashion 21 Contour Palette. My bronzer, my highlight, my contour. Ba? Is it even? Not, hindi ko, hindi ata. Okay, hindi. Hmm. This is what I hate about contouring. Kasi, hindi ako pantay maglagay. See, I'm not professional. Oo, hindi siya pantay. This is mataas. Ito, bababa. Ba. Next, on my step, is translucent powder. 
and I'm gonna use this to bake. It's so dumb. Let me use this. I'm gonna use tag dito. Forgot triangle sponge. sometimes it's too hard to remove the ow I poke my eye it's hard to remove the loose powder or in case this powder but I still use it because it's so good <laughs> There we go. Next is we're going to contour my nose now. The one thing that I'm not really fond of sa Fashion 21 Cosmetics is that they have so much fallout sa products. Which is fine, but sometimes it's such a hassle. Kailangan pang linisin, and sometimes in allergy ako. I do like beauty blenders then, but sometimes the brushes they do the work, and mas maganda din because it blends so beautifully the brushes. I told you guys, sobrang simple lang ng makeup ko. Actually, the eyeshadow I don't usually put as much. I only put like the inner corners ng eye ko, cause I mean I don't have something to do like serious or formal to put on eyeshadow so i'm gonna use you maybelline the nudes this has been with me since 2020 and the expired na, but who cares i'm gonna use this because i'm looking for like a nude look so i'm gonna use this glittery like brown stuff and mini so tong brush Inner. Here we go. Kinang kinang lang. Next, we are going to do my mascara. And I have two mascaras here. One is my f like my old one, which is the Fashion 21. And burada na nga siya. It's Fashion 21 like double up mascara. I forgot the name. And then, kasama nung sa binili kong isa is the Hyper Curl Maybelline Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara. I usually don't put on mascara because I sweat so much. But, because I'm not going anywhere, I'm just, I'm just showing you what my everyday makeup routine is. I'm gonna put on. And, first time ko gagamitin. Wow! Beauty Blogger! Ayan, ayan, ayan. Hindi ko alam kung anong one, like side ng one yung gagamitin. Yung pa-curve or yung flat. I'm just gonna use the curve one, para baka, you know, giving the giving volume na rin yun. Ewan ko. Kunti lang. Kasi lang naman tayo po And, waterproof to, baka hindi ko pa matanggal. Next, I'm going to put on blush. The blush that I will be using is the Fashion 21 Single Blush. I forgot the shade. Because it's not here. Because I bought this some mall sa SM. It's like a rose colored blush on. But I love it. Bunga. Next is the lipstick. So, I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. I have three. No, four actually. Four actually. Isa asa mom ko yung BLK. 
bought, I have three. I have Colorette, Mini Color Tin and Coco, um, Maybelline New York Sensational Liquid Matte in Made Easy, I think. And then next is the Neil Cosmetics uh, Glass Stain in Bitten. It's matte, and I don't like matte lipsticks. But I wanted to give it a try because I want to you know, buy more lipsticks that are matte because I love the color so much. But I'm going to try it. Is it my color? I don't know. Is it my color? Be honest. I think I like it. It's it's doable. Next and last step is the eyebrows. Next, next step. Though, glow. I used the Glossier Boy Brow, like on Ling Black. Forgot the name. Like my name was that. I love this so much. It's easy to use. Mm -hmm. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you like. If you have questions, just comment down below. And I will be sure to to answer everything on the comments and I'm gonna put everything that I used search it's a description box thank you so much for watching bye see you next see you in the next video